Hello, my name is Ushant Kavinder and student ID 1525323. My name is Ranuka Prashant Hiyavasa and my student ID is 1619100. Here we have set up three PCs to demonstrate our Java Recycle Machine RMI implementation. One PC will be used to run our server system and two other PCs will be used to run our client system. Here, first I'm going to run our server system on this PC. Then I'm going to run our client system 1 on this PC. Next, I'm going to run our client system three, 2 on this PC. Now I'm going to connect my client system with the server. Here we have to define our server IP and the port address and we have to connect our client system with the server. Now, once the client system connect with the server, server system will display the client machine IP and client PC name. Then I'm going to connect client system 2 with the server as well. Once the client system 2 connect with the server, it will display the client system IP address with its computer name. Now I'm going to add items to recycle machine client system. Once we add items to client system, it will display the added items on the server. Here on the server, it will display the client PC IP address and added items in the machine transaction log tab. Now I'm going to add more items from our client system too. Now, as you can see on our server, it will display the different IP address and different client PC to show added items on the server. Here on this client PC, once we add items, we can print them on a receipt. Using this print receipt button, we can print it. Next, I'm going, done, I'm going to demonstrate the engineering visit part on our client system. Once the engineering visit to our client system, he or she has to log in to reset machine button. Here, engineer has to enter his password. Once engineer log into the system he has to empty the full machine once trans once the engineer empty full machine it will display on server system under agent log tab Here on our client system 2, I'm going to reset added items as well. Once engineer reset the items on the client PC2, it will display the information on agent log tab again. Here using this reset machine function, we can reset individual items as well.
now I'm going to demonstrate that function now show this to you I'm going to add one more items after that I'm going to again going to reset machine and enter engineering parser then I'm going to reset individual item create once we reset create it will display the agent lock on our server system Now I'm going to demonstrate update value function on our server system. First let me show you the current values on our client system. I'm going to add one can and one bottle that print the receipt. Now the can value is 2 and the bottle value is display as 2 as well. Now I'm going to the server system machine settings function and change the values on this client system. I'm going to give 1 as can value, 2 as bottle value, paper bag value as 3, and create value as 4. Now I'm moving on to client PC again and go to the reset machine function using engineer's password then I'm going to get the updated values from the server using the updated values button on here now if I add one can and one bottle again it will print the different value we updated from the server. As you can see, individual item value has been changed now. Now I'm going to show you the view machine summary function on our server system. Using this view machine summary function, we can view items added on our client system on the chart here under each unique IP address it will display the added items on the chart on next client PC it will display the added items as well This will be the end of our RMI implemented recycle machine. Next we will move on to the XML RPC version. Of now here I am going to demonstrate our XML RPC implementation of the recycle machine system. Same as before we have set up three PCs to show recycle server and two client PCs. First I am going to demonstrate our server system. Here we have run our server system on the server system. Then I'm going to run our client system on this PC. Now I'm going to run our client system on client PC2. Here I'm going to connect our client system with the server using the server IP and the port number once the client system connect with the server it will display the 
client IP address and client system name on the server under online machine. Then I'm going to connect our client system 2 with the server as well. Now our server system will display the client system 2 IP address and computer name on online machines. Now let me add a couple of items on our client system recycle machine. Once we add items on our client system, it will display the added items on the server under machine transaction log as you can see here in the machine transaction log it will display the client IP address and client PC with added items. Now I am going to add more items on our client PC too. Once we add more items on our client PC, it will display the added items on machine transaction log on the server PC. Now, when we add items on our client PC, using this print receipt button, we can print added items onto a receipt. As you can see in the display, it will print the receipt of the added item like below. Now we are going to show you the engineering visit function on our client PC. Using this reset machine function, engineer can log into the client system. Once the engineer logged into the system, engineer has the function to reset individual items or empty the full machine. Here I'm going to reset individual item first and then empty the full machine. First I'm going to reset the crates. And then if I go to the server and move to the agent log tab it will display the transaction engineer done on our client system then again we will move on to our client system and empty full machine then again we will move on to our server system and under agent log it will display the reset full machine function on our client system under the each IP address and client PC. Then on our client PC2, I'm going to reset the machine again. I'm going to go ahead with the empty full machine function here. Then again we will move on to our server system and under agent log it will display the client PC IP address, client PC name and the transaction done on client PC by the engineer. Now we will move on to our server updated value function. First, take a look at the current values on our client system. Here on the receipt, it will display the crate value as 12 and the paperback value as 14. Now we will update these values from the server using the machine settings function. Here I'm going to update values.
now we will again move on to our client system and get the updated values from the server using the reset machine function after login in as engineer we have to get the updated values from the server using this update value button here now again we are going to add more items then print the receipt again as you can see on the receipt the updated values has been changed on the client PC now as the final function of our system we will move on to the server PC and view the machine summary using this view machine summary function we can view added items on our client PCs under each client system here on our first PC it will display the added items on the chart here on our second client PC IP address it will display the added item on this chart so this will end our XML RPC version of the recycle machine demonstration